Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Judicious Fire, and I am here with Atlanticore. Atlanticore is the only true deflector in this game, deflecting 100% of the damage back at the attacker. I'm going to take a look at Atlanticore today, best build, how to use him best in this game. If you could hit the uh, subscribe button, it would help out the channel a lot. We are on the road to 10k subs. If you could hit that button, uh, we could get more Castle Clash videos like this going. Uh, let's take a look at Atlanticor. AC is a true deflector of damage. When his shield goes up, he puts 100% back. We have several other deflectors in this game, but they always deflect a percentage of the damage. AC does the full deal. Uh, that is why we must always preserve his deflect. The only thing this, this man does is deflect. So we don't ever want to put dodge on Atlantic Core. In fact, of the whole host of traits available for heroes, probably the smartest decision is to put uh, HP, put health on him. Uh, he is not an attacker. Uh, he doesn't do crit. He has a very, very slow attack speed. And without health, then his ability to remain alive and deflect damage is going to suffer. So let's take a look at uh, how we have him built. I've found that the uh, revive is amazing. Um, often you're trying to drop him, he'll get stunned or immediately killed, comes back, gets the chance to activate his shield. Uh, especially essential in the late dungeons, uh, Insane Dungeon 8, giving him an extra couple of lives is always beneficial. Uh, kills off more auto proc heroes with the deflect. I don't really think it matters too much what pet you run on him. Uh, I would think a healing pet would probably be best for him, but he does his job, he dies. That's what he's there for, okay? He's like a, a, a battering ram. He gets smashed up when after he's used, but he certainly broke down the door. Um, we are looking at a insignia. It is absolutely vital that you get him to proc immediately. The use of a, a revitalized talent is going to allow him to instantly get that shield up. That's what you need, instant skill activation. I would put Revite higher in priority even more than Revive uh, because without instant skill activation in his deflect shield, he's a dead man. So I would go with that first. Uh, his enchantment, there's really nothing you can do in this game. There is nothing you can do to change his nature. You can't make his shield last longer. You can't make the shield more powerful. Uh, you really can't do too much in terms of Atlantic War. The only enchantment that I've found that really makes some kind of an impact is the use of Cursed Battlefield. Uh, when the enemies attack Atlantic War, they will receive, at level 7, 16% more damage. And the cooldown matches the skill activation. So the entire time that he's being attacked, the enemy attackers are taking uh, extra damage and we look at his traits and all health uh, keep him alive for as many seconds as you possibly can that's basically the deal with Atlantic Core okay let's throw Atlantic Core at Laz got that shield up Laz will take deflect damage Atlantic Core does have a cooldown, so he can't have his shield up the entire time. Laz just lost about 60% of his health. Atlantic Core just killed Laz. That's beautiful. Okay, let's try him against Cosmo. Go Ronin side. Got the deflect up. He hit those walls. Cosmo's now dead. Just killed a Cos. Okay, let's take a look at one of the ways that he's used in today's game. We've got uh, the Insane Dungeon 8 series. Lanacor is a big part of that team. Uh, he is used to kill off the gunslinger copters as well as some of the pesky auto proc heroes. 
Watch as I uh, bring some love doves. You will also see a lot of gunslinger coppers. When I use Atlanticor, all of a sudden the gunslinger coppers disappear. So did Levanica. Because all of them just died from the deflect damage off of uh, our friend Atlanticor. You can then throw a very high dodge hero that is capable of uh, using projectile damage like a spirit mage, uh, Commodora, or you can use the classic team of uh, Minnow, uh, Ronin, uh, Serena Tree, Laz, and often Cosmo, depending on which level. Uh, I think, though, that it begins with that deflect to take out the Gunslinger Coppers. So a hero like this, for example, can actually activate his skill and not get hit with the energy reduction that Gunny causes. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank my friend Atlanticor here, uh, the only true deflector in the game, sending back 100% of the damage at the enemy. Make sure to preserve that. Stay away from dodge. You'll even see that during the breakthrough process, up to breakthrough 30, he does receive some dodge bonuses, and those actually hurt him, allowing the damage that he's being given to no longer deflect back at the enemy. So do whatever you can to keep dodge off of this man. Maybe give him some health, send him out there with a revive and a revite combo. Bingo. You're taking care of business. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and enjoy your clashing. Bye-bye.